hey 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 i'm back with another video today i hope you're all okay so this video is my wash day routine yes i know i know i did not braid and band i didn't braid and band but this is just a little preview of me washing my hair today i'm going to use the no, gmc ginger anti-hair loss shampoo i love it love it love it love it love it it's got ginger and it smells like ginger it helps your hair to be soft um, it makes your scalp kind of tingly because it feels like it's really doing, doing the job and washing your hair properly so yeah i'm using that today it's a sulfate free shampoo so your hair doesn't feel stripped however i might change and use a dr Donner shampoo or like a pastel soap shampoo or something just something to you know really clean my hair thoroughly i think i might have to change the different shampoo just to make sure there's no build up caught in my hair so yes i didn't braid and band um to be honest i just love the way my head and my hair feels when i can feel the warm lukewarm water running through my hair it feels so good my hair is so soft and yeah, I'm glad I didn't go them down, guys. But I haven't, haven't noticed any issues really. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just lathering up the shampoo in my hair and my scalp. The back of my scalp, I'm concentrating on that a lot because it's been itching lately. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's because I've been to the gym and I didn't wash my hair afterwards or. I don't know what it is or maybe it's the oil that's too heavy on my scalp i'm not sure but i went to the gym this morning so i made sure i washed my hair thoroughly here's a nice slow-mo wow look at my hair it looks so full so so full i love it giving myself a little head massage stimulate the blood flow and i scratch my scalp quite often to try and lift up all the dirt so don't do it too hard I just scratch it. I try to avoid scratching my edges though because I don't want to cause any wastage or anything like that. Here I am just rinsing off my hair. Rinsing all that shampoo out and I think I'll go in again with it some more shampoo. Is this my second time or third time? I can't remember but I tend to wash my hair three times to make sure I've got everything out. I usually focus on my scalp and let the shampoo run down my hair. But I know with locks you're supposed to press the shampoo and rub your locks to make sure all the buildup is out of your locks. So I'll do that next time. And I think I'll braid and band next time as well. So now I've just got my uh, cotton t-shirt on to dry my hair. Hey, 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 I'm back. So I've washed my hair, got my cotton t-shirt on the top just to dry it. Let's see how it looks. I am loving my locks, honestly. I'm loving them. Oh, in the sunlight, you can see my, um, the dyed egg. Yeah, so I'm back. This is my hair fresh out of the shower. I never have it like that. I always have it styled to the side. With some behind my ear and like that. Well, that's how I have it at home. Usually when I'm out, it's always up. But yeah, I just want to show you how it looks when I get out of the shower, when I brush my hair. I 
got the sun in my face. <laughs> okay, so once my hair is out of the shower, um, I'm gonna go in with some tea tree oil because lately the, the middle of my head has been itching non-stop. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because, I don't know why. But I'm gonna go put some tea tree oil on my hair. I'll just massage that into my scalp. The last time I washed my hair was about two weeks ago, I think. I think it was two weeks ago. I'm trying to be consistent with the hair washing. And I went gym this morning. Went to the gym this morning, I did a workout class. So I definitely wanted to wash my hair after the gym. I don't know what it's caused by, but I don't want to exasperate it anymore by keeping my, my um, scalp sweaty from the gym. So that is the tea tree oil I'm using. Got it from my, my hair shop. Okay, then I've got a mixture of Jamaican black castor oil and tea tree oil. Got some of that in my hair as well. Mm -hmm. Honestly. I do not miss detangling my hair out of the shower. Oh my gosh. It was at the point where I used to dread washing my hair because I knew it would take all day. I knew I would lose a lot of hair while detangling in the shower. And oh, I just, I just used to dread it, couldn't cope. Well, I could cope. I did enjoy doing my hair, but it just used to take forever. And it used to shed a lot as well. Wow, my hair looks so different from the first time. From the first time I locked it, I need to find a video. Well, I've got a video on my channel already. That's my first initial micro locks video. But in that video, my hair was flat and there wasn't any frizz or anything because I just, I'd just locked my hair, but it's so much fuller than it used to be. I can't wait for the fullness. Hopefully I get some more volume. And I can't wait for the length either. My hands are constantly in my head. I don't know if that's an issue or I don't know if it's going to affect the locking process. But I just, I'm always twiddling with my hair. Always touching my hair. Checking if it feels like it needs another interlock. Checking if, it, if, the, if the lock feels um, strong. Checking if I'm always checking something. Or even if I'm not checking, I'm just touching my hair because it feels so nice. Compared to how it felt when it was loose natural, when it was loose natural, it was dry all the time because I was constantly um, brushing it and I was constantly blow drying it for, I was constantly stretching it out, blow drying it to make sure it was manageable for me to do my next style. But now, 
because I don't need to constantly do that it feels so soft but one thing I have noticed is that it sheds I think I said that in my previous video that my hair sheds so Hey guys, I just wanted to chat about the hair that I'm showing you. It's just a bit of shedding from my hair when I was adding the oil to it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye. Stay safe.